Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. Let's pray together, and then we'll come to God's Word. Father, we're thankful for the day you've given, and Father, we pray for your blessing and your help today, that you'd speak to our hearts and encourage us in our walk with Christ. Lord, may we see you clearly and follow you fully. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, let's open our Bibles today to Ezekiel chapter number 6. As God continues here speaking to and through the prophet Ezekiel, he's warning uh, the inhabitants of Jerusalem and Israel of the coming judgment. And, uh, you know, we see hardship come and we see that God pronounces some very difficult things. He says some very terrible and hard things to the children of Israel, but though they be terrible and hard, all of them are true. And I'm thankful that God speaks the truth to us. Why does God speak the truth to us? He does so in love. And that's what he desires for us to do to others, speaking the truth in love. And uh, the Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 6 and verse number 8, in the midst of all of this, God tells them that the th a third's going to die, the pestilence, the sword, and another third of the famine. And so he says in verse 8, Yet will I leave a remnant, uh, that ye may have some that shall escape the sword among the nations when ye shall be scattered through the countries. They that escape of you shall remember me among the nations, whether I shall be carried, whether they shall be carried captives. Notice because I am broken. Uh, God says I am broken with their whorish heart, which hath departed from me, and with their eyes which go a whoring after their idols, and they shall loathe themselves for the evil which they have committed in all their abominations. You know, God is heartbroken over sin. I don't I'm not sure we we can we can fathom this. Of course, God hates sin. When we we read that in the Word of God, He does. It is sin is the antithesis of God. God is holy and just and righteous. Sin is unholy, uh, unrighteous. Um, all it's wicked. Uh, the wages of sin is death. We we know that that God judges sin and, and in his wrath we see that in his word but the bible speaks clearly concerning uh god's people that when we depart from the lord he is broken notice what he says in the midst of verse number nine he says because i am broken with their whorish heart which hath departed from me have you ever made the one you love upset have you ever broken someone's heart uh, if you with your spouse ever had a, a heated argument and one leaves in tears, uh, have, have you ever caused someone grief and sorrow and pain? Do you not feel bad? You know, we look and we, the Bible says, and even in the book of Lamentations, which we looked at a couple weeks ago, that the eye affects the heart. You know, we see the heartbrokenness of those we love in this life. You know, people we can see humanly speaking, and our hearts break because of that. Yet, we can't see God. God is a spirit. Uh, we can't see the tears that God sheds on behalf of our sin. We can't see the brokenheartedness of God uh, over our sin, but we can read of it here in his word. And may we see these words, may we understand just how dreadful it is that we, when we sin against God, when we sin against others, when we sin against ourselves, may, may, God, may God change our hearts and help us understand the depths of sorrow that it causes our Lord, that God is broken over our sin. And may we repent and may we be right. I pray that God would help us see things as he sees them. And I believe that's part of the problem we face in life today is that we are so temporal we fail to see beyond to the eternal may god help us gain a heavenly perspective in all things father we love you we pray that you'd help us today see our sin for what it is oh, lord and may we be broken over our sin just as you are broken over our sin may we be broken hearted lord may we be repentant may we be of a, a contrite spirit lord may we seek uh, rest, uh, restoration and forgiveness from Thee. Oh Lord, our prayer is for revival. Oh Lord, may You help us understand just how significant these things are. And uh, Lord, may You bring our hearts into agreement and understanding with Thy Word. 
And we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you for joining us today. We're praying for you, and Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.